Hi there, you're watching VOS TV. Join us every weekdays on Relationship Zone as we discuss, profile solutions and make recommendations on relationship matters. I, Blessing Raji, will be your regular host. With me, Tonya Itemagbon will be my co-host to do justice on the relationship matters. See you there. Hi, it's Relationship Zone on VOS TV where we talk about hot and interesting gist on relationship matters. We shall be looking at toxic relationship. I am blessing Raji. With me here in the studio is my co-host. Hi, Tonya Itemwabo. Okay, today we shall be looking at an interesting topic, toxic relationship. Now, what is toxic relationship? Toxic relationship is an unhealthy relationship. Okay. It is characterized by self-centeredness, control and dominance, and also jealousy. Okay. So to me, it's, it's, it's more of a relationship that there is no love, Mm. A relationship that there is no care. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So why do you think people still stay in that kind of relationship that there's no care, there's much dominance and all? Why do you think people still stay in oh, such some, relationships? Some feel, oh, I have kids, I mm -hmm. can't live with a marriage. Mm -hmm. Some feel, oh, this boy, he spends more on me, so mm -hmm. I can't live him. But to me, you shouldn't have a reason staying in a toxic relationship. Okay. Because number one, you don't have your freedom. Number two, you don't have your job. Number three, the happiness is not there. It's full of jealousy. Now, talking about, because you said something that you don't have a reason to stay there. Yes. Okay, now, let's talk about marriage. Now that you're saying they don't have a reason, so what about people that have kids, that have children, and they've been in that relationship, they've been in that marriage for years. Are you saying they can't stay in that relationship because of their kids? No, you should, I'm not saying, but to me, to me, my own point of view, you, you shouldn't say such relationship. Why? Because at the end of the day, a relationship that is filled with abuse, mm. at the end of the day, you're losing your life, you're leaving those kids. A relationship that is filled with a, a sadness, mm. you're teaching those children on, on a wrong foot. Mm. So to me, I don't think there's any reason for one to stay in a toxic relationship. So despite their trauma and everything, despite the years that yes, they think they should just yes. forget about it. Yes, your happiness matters most. Matters a lot. Happiness. Because it's when that priceless. person is alive that yes. you can even take care of those, your, your children. those children. And yes. even if you are saying that you want to stay in that uh, relationship or the marriage, you yourself, it will affect the mental health of that person. That is it. That is so, it. Okay, so why do you now feel that people should speak up? Because in this kind of situation, marriage or relationship, they don't speak up. People don't speak up. Why do you feel that people don't speak up when they find See, themselves in this that life kind of situation? I, enjoy, I, like, I love this life. Yeah. I'm not sure, say, they're mad and they enjoy the life they really enjoy. I don't think mm. they like they, the way I'm enjoying my life. I don't yes. think you, you, you know how the life is. It's sweet. Yes. So if for you to, to, to have stayed in that toxic relationship, I think you don't know what you're doing. Mm. Because indirectly, you've killed yourself by yourself. Mm. Be it the man, be it the woman. Mm. You shouldn't stay in a toxic relationship. Mm. You know, I have a friend. She's married with four kids. Mm. She, she, there was a time I went to her. I noticed she's experiencing a... a violence in marriage. And I was like, ah, what is happening between you? Every time you're your husband, you're always having issues. She was like, eh, me, I can't leave. Why? Eh, because of my children. Uh, to a point, the man, the man, there was a day, not just once, she would start looking for people's home to sleep. She would, he beat her up, to throw her out to, to work, go to wherever you want to go to. And she still so, remain in that relationship. Yes, is it that she's yes. not, is she the one causing the whole thing? Because in this situation now, you know, we women we have our own issues. That is it. Our mouth alone is in fact it's Resident, sharper than yes, 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 it's sharper than a yes, sword. Yes. There are times that you can even say more than you ought to yeah. to have to have provoked that man to do that. Mm -hmm. Do you think women to also make a contribute to that kind of act? Yes. It shouldn't be the reason for a man to beat up his wife. Send her out by his wife in the night. Mm, that was appalling. At least you as a man, you know we women, we are mm. we are gifted with our mouths. Mm. Yes, so mouth you too. as a man, you feel, oh, this woman is getting on my nerves. Walk out. Yes. Leave the house. Because... Well, take it. Go out like a friend of mine will say, whenever I'm angry, my husband tells me, oh, let me count one to hundred. Mm. Before I'm done counting, my anger will have come So do same. 
So marriage is to be enjoyed and not to be endured. endured. Yes. Okay. So in that, um, in this toxic relationship of the thing that we're talking about now, you know, it's not just women yes, that faces it. Yes. Even Men women. also face toxic yeah. relationships. There are some women that beat their husbands up. In that kind of a situation, what do we call that? My dear, like I said before, mm. peace of mind is priceless. Important. So what? Very, very important. Yeah. You as a man, you're in a relationship that you don't have peace. Mm. Women nags, there are some women are nags more than mm. you. You come home, the peace is not there. Some men want to even sleep in their offices. Yeah. Why? Because they don't, they don't, have, they, they don't peace. have peace at home. Yeah. You as a man, if you are in such a relationship, you try to talk to her and she's not ready to change. Try uh, going to her parents, she's not ready to change. Try maybe there, there will be one person that, that she really she, she wants yeah. to listen to, will, and if she's not ready to change, to me, call it a quit. And here we have we know there are some red flags that we need to look into when we're in a relationship. We've started seeing uh, red flags like he not being caring because there are situations that when you start that relationship is always sweet yes. in the beginning yeah. and the marriage is always sweet. sweet so along the line you have some gap some holes some loopholes yes. set in in that kind of point if you are seeing that he's no more caring he's no more doing what he used to do i think um there are some people that you need to speak of like you have relationship therapists you're yes. an expert you consult them you can actually and, talk to yeah you talk to them for them to even come like you seek for advice marriage counselors and all but they have know, to yes. do you know before it leads to marriage mm. you as an individual mm. you should know is this is this relationship healthy at all so how do you now identify a healthy relationship you, you can number one yeah. if like you said you said when it's mm. At the at the beginning, it's always sweet, yeah. it's always enjoyment, everything. Then at the setting, that's why it's good to date your spouse. Mm. You get so for, for how long? It doesn't mean there are some that date. There are some that still date their Even spouse. Even one year, two years. They they, they still years. do that courtship for three months and they live happy. That is why I say. Why you know, some they live for they dated for years? And that relationship didn't end well. Are you saying that is the period or what actually? Not ended? really the period. You as a woman, you as a man, you should know when is this relationship is this, is this healthy. You should you should have the signs. There are some people that they see it clearly. Yes, Do you know that. Love. They they see that ah, this thing cannot lead me somewhere to uh, But, man, but they still, play. for example, now if you are in a relation abusive relationship, for instance. You just stay there because of money, because of what the guy is telling There are some people that they know that what they are doing is wrong. Yes. After beating you, after maltreating you in that relationship or marriage, at the end of the day, they'll just buy gifts and, and give to you. And, you know and those people, those they just keep quiet, that's why they abuse and yes. everything. Do you know those kind of persons? They are jealous lovers. Mm. They are dangerously jealous lovers. So what are the things we need to look out for? And number one, look at number one thing is love does this mm. guy or does this guy really loves me mm. do you have the fear of god see some people when, pretend though you will know you will know but i think it takes the grace of god that's why i said because fear of god number one mm. when you have the fear of god as an individual there are some certain things you just have to like oh i have this character but what i heard in church mm. are this preaching are you so saying that people down. that are facing toxic relationships don't have the fear of god when i mean fear of god i mean genuine when we say to genuine go church carry my bible go church come back home oh. genuine fear of god mm. you get when you have that fear of god mm. and there, there are a lot of things you want to drop aside but you know sometimes it's not all about this christianity kind of life it's just you yourself you use your head it's true do you understand true. there are things that you don't just wait for god, god to just set yeah, it to do yeah. you use your eye yes do you understand use you just sense. use your sense most times if you're in a relationship you don't say that ah, this one i'm going because of this sometimes you are being blinded by what they call love and money yes sometimes I in, in fact these love. days we I don't even love. see we don't even uh, see love we think the most important thing that people look out for is money yes before every other thing yes. follows so we should not just look at it that ah, it's just god 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 will not come down to choose that a man it, for us it, and all of that, that so there it. are things that we just need to use our head sometimes to know that this 
want to work. Exactly. exactly. So what? Uh, you what? Which advice will you give to them? Okay, my advice to people in toxic relationship out there is to speak up. Speak up to the right persons that can help you. You have marriage counselors, you have therapists yeah. Yeah. that can evolve, now, willing that help. are willing to help. You speak up to those bodies and don't be shy about it. Don't think if I'm talking to people about my relationship problem, they'll be like ah, this and that. Don't be shy about it. You talk to people. You if I, Then if you have made efforts to do that and you're seeing no positive uh, re result. result, that is when you now say, okay, I quit. You don't stay in a relationship. If you mm -hmm. die in that relationship, uh -huh. the children and the so-called society and the people that you are saying that they, about they you. will still talk about you. Talk so about it's you. better you are alive. And the worst part is the children. The children you are you, you saying, oh, I'm not leaving or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. The children, they also grow up being like... That is it. So it indirectly affects those children's future. Hi there. You're watching VOS TV. Join us every weekday on Relationship Zone as we discuss Profile solutions and make recommendations on relationship matters. I, Blessing Raji, will be your regular host. With me, Tonya Itemagbon will be my co host to do justice on the relationship matters. See you there. It's a wrap from us here in the studio. We have been doing justice to the topic toxic relationship. Quit toxic relationship, speak out to people that can help you tackle issues on your relationship or marriage at large. And blessing, Raja. And I am Sonia Itewango. Until next week, bye, bye for now.